have to go inside one of the shops and hunt them. So we are going to hunt a bed. We booked three tickets. It takes about four or five hours roughly to go to Hunter Valley um, from city city. So we started early morning. We were asking at one point. point. We were yes. racing, but they were late. So we had some coffee from nearby coffee shop. Finally, we hopped into the van. There were some other passengers in that group. Um, Nancy and David from USA, Lucia from Italy, another guy from Philippines and another couple with their mom and dad. So we all happily started going to see and wine tasting in Hong Valley. At our first stop, it's a vineyard. Actually speaking, we came in the wrong time of the year. Uh, now is the winter. During winter, winter all the vineyards are dried up, so we couldn't see uh, actual grapes and all that. But guy who is in charge of the trade described the whole process showing the dried up vineyard. So anyone who wants to visit a vineyard for wine tasting, um, the best time to visit is the summer time. Um, here in Australia, it's uh, February, January, February, um, like that. So you can see the actual process happening. Please do, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. still like, I mean, why, my, our winemaker's been here. He's done 47 vintages in Hunter Valley, and he's 67 years old, and uh, there's no many winemakers still alive that's done that 47 years old. Back to back Hunter Valley straight, straight away, and uh, he just loved Hunter. He loved the unpredictable, he loved the challenge of it. In Hunter, we don't have the beautiful vintage every year. We have problems. My workers does all the, all the hard work, I'll do the delegation. Uh, as you can see now in Australia, Hunter Valley, we're, uh, we're one of the oldest wine regions in Australia. This is actually set back in 1800, uh, but we're actually one of the, one of the smallest wine producers in, uh, in Australia. And uh, our peaking season is January and February. Our vineyard here, as you can see, there's about 25 acres on the vines here, and with, as a 40 acre estate. And uh, we produce about six different types of grapes here. So Semillon, Vidello, Chardonnay, the three white grapes. And we've got three reds, which is Shiraz. Depending on our harvest and, uh, and what we actually get from our vineyards. Uh, besides that, we also partnership with other vineyards of, of Hunter and also New South Wales region as well, because Hunter is just one of the regions. There's about six or seven different regions in, 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 in New South Wales itself. And, um, and we do partnership with other cooler climates for the more reds. Hunter grows really well of whites because uh, our white grapes are ripened a lot faster. And uh, when I say hottest region, I mean, during picking, this Hunter Valley can get to between 40 pickers. Uh, to, to pick this whole block here, which will take about three to five hours. Uh, our job is uh, process a fruit as quick as possible because we want our grapes uh, as the most fresh as, uh, <laughs> uh, condition as possible before we actually turn into the juice. Okay? Uh, so what is it does is uh, this thing is a hopper. And uh, it like for all the grapes that we actually collect and then actually start pushing it into this thing here, okay? Does anyone know what this machine is? Anyone knows? Any engineers here? Crush it, that's right. It's a distilled machine uh, in a technical term. And uh, what it does is, uh, uh, when, when all the, obviously the grapes come through the vineyards, it, it, it mm -hmm. picks everything. It picks the dead wood, stems, leaves, sometimes frogs, snakes, lizards. It comes through here as well. And uh, that's also another key factor for us to make full body wine as well, uh, for, those, uh, for those reptiles. <laughs> it's quite important. <laughs> uh, but now, what this thing does is, uh, when it actually rotates and the grapes fall in the bottom, we actually transfer that and anything that's actually unwanted, like the stem or dead wood, or arms that we collect from vineyards, you actually collect this. This works like a hand. So you actually extract those and then spit it out, uh, all the stuff we don't want. And all the grapes will fall into these holes here, okay? And then so, so once we only collect the juice and the skin, we'll go through this tray here and fall through on the bottom to the mask pump here. Okay, this mask pump is quite important. This is the most important uh, machinery during processing fruit because if this thing stops, we will have. This press can actually hold up to 10 tons of fruit. Fruits, fruits, fruits. 
Yeah, yeah, so all this thing here, it works like drainers, okay? And inside, you can see here, if you come closer, you can see the bag inside, that's a membrane, okay? Uh, so what it does is, yeah, you can take photos, that's fine. Yeah, there's no, there's no, yeah, you can take photos, okay? Yeah, there's, there's, there's no secret in one making. Our, our one maker, our one maker, our other secret, so yeah. <laughs> uh, so this thing uh, works like drainers. So this is the only thing that separates the grape juice and the skin, okay? So what the bag does is, the bag's actually, it's got a built-in compressor. So yeah, what it does is, it does contracts and expands and squeeze and expands and squeeze. And that's how we actually squeeze all the juice out. And because this is a new German engineering, this, uh, why make I call this one the Ferraris of uh, one press in, uh, in, in, the, in the one industry market? And uh, it, it designed everything in mind of the winemakers and how easy we can clean as well. Okay? Uh, so, what it does is it, it also has different settings on how hard we can actually press our grapes as well. So, if we're making sparkling base or a fruity white wine or a softer red, we do a softer, gentle press. Okay? Because if, if you squeeze it too hard, you're squeezing everything up in the skin. And that creates hardness and, and harshness we don't want as well. So, because uh, what we really want is the inside layer of the skin from the grapes. That's the, that's the way the flavor profile comes through as well. And outside layer of the skin is tannin, okay? okay. So that's why we, uh, for white wine, we want to separate the skin and the juice as quick as possible to, to reduce that skin contact, to, uh, to showcase the flavor of, the, of each white wine as well. And in Australia, we're new, well, yeah, we go by great varieties because in Australia, there's about four, four to 500 different type of grapes we actually produce here because it all came from Oval, from Italy, Portugal, Spain, France, Greece, sometimes even Russia. So, uh, so we, have, we have to go by the names of, of each variety. Yeah, that's it, yeah, okay? So this thing is, a, I call this one a holding tank for wines, but also a white from fermentation tank as well. So once all the grape juice goes in here, and uh, what it does is that uh, it will actually uh, obviously transfer, we have all the pulp juice and uh, how do you separate from the pulp. Guys, can you come closer if you like? And uh, so once all the grape juice goes in here, then uh, we'll make sure that we start adding the yeast, okay? What the yeast does is sort of how we make our red wine is soak it in with the skins during fermentation. So we will actually bypass the press when we're actually receiving our red grapes. We will actually push it through processing the, the red grape. Same percentage of calcium. Same, but different, different, uh, different picking time. Yeah. So we pick it. We to make a take a white wine, you never, you normally need, need a sugar level a little bit higher. And to pick a sparkling base, you want a bit more lower. Coming through the oak barrel, incorporating with the with the chardonnay, it's going to prepare that. Okay. And uh, again, this is a winter white wine. A lot of uh, wine, a lot of drink, a lot of wine drinkers. Uh, if you don't, if you don't feel like drinking red wine in winter, uh, um, chardonnay is definitely a go-to because it's such a more. Uh, more weight to the, to the mouthful. And I, I say this on a different medium. Just under the chocolate. So we have a sip of wine and then chocolate and then... Yeah, just do a sip of the first, see if you like the wine, and then go with the chocolate and, you know, go from there. But, you know, take your time, go at your own pace. It's all about just enjoying your time, okay? And we do sell the chocolates inside as well. So if you like any of the chocolates, we sell them as well. Okay, enjoy. Thank you. Just when you think you're getting sweeter and just dissolve and disappear the back color. Very unusual. So again, the uh, sugar content about this one from the from the semion grape uh, is sitting around 25 grams of sugar per liter. Uh, a can of coke, 375. Semion yeah, and Merlot to make our rosé. Uh, the reason we added them to do that, uh, no, it's like a floral carrot down the nose and uh, on a palate, Turkish delight, crushed strawberries. Uh, similarity to it, so that's what these two red grapes brings out. Okay, and the sweetness. This is slightly bit sweeter than the, the last sweet white one you tried. Only about four grains, but it finishes off dry. But sweet. How is it meant to hunt belly? They all hunt belly, yeah. No, as in like, if you want to give to someone, it says hunt belly, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah, we we in Australia, anything hunt belly, we're actually able to label hunt belly. So you got you got water there. Honey. What's here? There's more. There's two more glasses here if you like. Now, before I bring out, I'm going to show you guys a couple of whites, a couple of rosés, a couple of reds. Uh, any preference? What anyone likes to drink? Does anyone like to drink bubbles? Any sparkling drinkers here? Sparkling drinker. Beautiful. Hey. Any champagne? You have champ champ champagne? Champ yeah, we do actually. I'll bring the first one. Not champagne. In Australia, we can't call champagne anymore, so we can call sparkling. So. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, any any fruity wine drinkers here? 
or full body one by one drinker, like a yeah, full body mm -hmm. Chardonnay. Okay. And any sweet wine drinkers here? Does anybody mm -hmm. like sweet wines? I don't like sweet wines. Like New technologies, we allow the able, able to make sparkling and, and has, has a nice little that, that aged sort of uh, mature, matureness, a uh, bit of maturity to it as well. Uh, using Chardonnay has not, Chardonnay is a great variety, it's known for that more stone fruit character. Not that much. Oh. Oh. You, you like it, right? sweet kind of stuff. Mm. I like the more bitter. This, this kind you like of a more acidity, more drier? More acidity. Hey, normally drink champagne. Champagne has a, uh, a white grape and red grape to uh, add the flavour profile. Mm -hmm. And the champagne a lot more expensive because they, they leave it in the bottles yeah. for the second year of fermentation a lot longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes five to ten years before they bring it out. That's so right. imagine the storage cost. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, friends, in champagne, they've got a lot of tunnels and caves, so they're quite lucky able to actually let the wine mature. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, when we actually do mature those uh, secondary fermentation in bottles, yeah. we don't have facilities to uh, hold them. Uh, holding those tanks. This is water, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. We require facilities that do the secondary fermentation aging for us. But again, Tim Ferment is also an invention by Italians and the French took the patent, and, uh, which is called the Chamin method, which is also a secondary fermentation uh, process to produce Wait a bubble. Okay? Uh, normally we go through our Chardonnay, and normally it varies from 6 to 12 month barrel time with the fruit, okay? So once we're actually fr processing our fruit, uh, once we know the volume from the tank, the winemaker will start allocating yeah. to the barrels and let it mature. It's the same percentage of alcohol? Same, but different, different, uh, different picking time now. So we pick, we, to make a table white wine, you, never, you normally need, need the sugar level a little bit higher. And to pick a sparkling base, you want a bit more lower. Again, okay, this is a winter white wine. Uh, wine. Uh, Chardonnay is one of those beautiful wines. That's actually, they're designed to drink it young and fresh, and uh, but they can actually hold on to the age quite some time. They can actually age, see the acid and the barrel tannin? Yeah. That's also a na natural uh, aging six months, agent. six months. That can actually age. Uh, and also, this is actually from the, this has got a hill top, uh, wine region and Hunter Valley combined together. Mm. So it's the first one on the red, first red here. Yeah? First red. First red, and uh, it's a medium body, so this went through a six month barrel time only, okay? The reason for that is we purposely only use a barrel time to soften the uh, the tannin from the from the from this two red fruit, uh, but again, it's actually much more fruit forward. Okay, now you're gonna start tasting Shiraz. Uh, Shiraz known character is more pepper and plum. That's what they're known for. Okay. So, no, 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 not adding pepper. Not going on. No, no, no. Yeah. It's, it's just what the Shiraz is known for. If you, yeah. June, if you have time, if you have, next time you have to have chance uh, coming to June summertime. Uh, I didn't believe pepper when people were talking about pepper and plum and stuff. But when you bite into the skin of the Shiraz, mm. the skin releases a hint of pepper. That's where the character flavor comes from, okay? This wine, the white pink, is using two red grapes. So we use Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot to make our rosé. Uh, the reason we add them and do that is because Cabernet Sauvignon releases beautiful aromatic uh, nose, like a floral character on the nose, and uh, on a palate, Turkish delight, crushed strawberries, uh, similarity to it. So that's what these two red grapes brings out. Okay, and the sweetness, this is slightly bit sweeter than the, the last sweet white one you tried, mm. only about four grams, mm. but it finishes off dry but sweet. Okay, that's what we love about Cap Sap. And also it's a noble grape in Bordeaux, okay? So Cap Franc, Cabernet, Cabernet Franc, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Malbec, uh, Petit Verdot, uh, they are the noble grapes in, uh, in Bordeaux, and, uh, and that's why the, the French love this, this is one of the prestige. Uh, varieties and the Cabernet Sauvignon is a hybrid, okay? It's a Sauvignon Blanc and Cabernet Franc molded together for some reason, so mm, yeah. Red, red, rose, and white. This uh, it's, a, it's a red and white com hybrid there, actually. Yeah, it was, it was done in uh, uh, one of the monk stuff that I've been in the 1200s. He might, he might have grafted onto a Cabernet Franc and uh, he thought it was a Sauvignon Blanc. I don't know what happened. Game made like lamb. Venison's nice, easy drinking bread that you can actually pair with your pizza, your spec and bolognese, uh, even your uh, barbecue or tapas, or that's what you designed this one for. Easy drinking red that has still got a lot of flavor from fruit. And um, again, to make a red wine, for them to count, for them to change from green grape to red grape, they need more higher sugar content to, uh, to go to the berets one to change the, to change the color. Uh, so the alcohol is a little bit higher. So about 14% this one. We're sitting at 14% alcohol, and the French will never use those two red grapes to make the rosé. It's against the religion. <laughs> Again, so if you like your lamb or your...
Oh, this is fun. Smile, 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 baby, smile. That rain, but please. Where are you going? 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 Where Moscato. Thank you. Oh, that looks pretty good. Red, I, when yeah. you showed me that menu, I didn't see that. It was way down at the bottom. Are you all vegetarian? Vegetarian? Are you all vegetarian? Are you all vegetarian? No. Then, no, we are not oh. vegetarians. Oh, oh, so we eat that. anything that moves. Oh. <laughs> 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 but we pace ourselves too. Oh, <laughs> That's one way to say I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> I, I like to say that I'm a vegetarian, but I like a side of meat. Oh, right. <laughs> I do like my vegetables. Okay. <laughs> and I'm an avid gardener. I grow tons of every vegetable there is. And I raise beef stews. All right. So I raise the vegetables, he raised the meat. <laughs> Butter chicken? Butter chicken? Butter chicken cut. Yeah, yeah, yes. yes. Butter chicken. Yeah? Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that looks yeah? good. That yes. Looks good. Yeah. That butter chicken they serve us on the plane. Yes. Do you think you shouldn't have been vegetarian today? Yeah. <laughs> that looks good. They served us butter chicken on the plane. It was, I'm telling you, it was one of the worst things I ever ate. Oh. No. See, it was terrible. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Bye bye. Thank you. Sir, I do. That's a serious chicken. What did you order? Did it's a beef and fish. Yes. Did you come with the salad as well? Yeah. How oh, good of you. <laughs> so. I can, uh, I can, you can share, yeah, yes, yeah. Fish and chips? Fish and chips, chips, yeah. Thank you very much. I beg much. your pardon, sorry for... Thank you so much. Oh, no, good. You. You. Gentlemen, I'll start and then I'll forget them. They hope the lunch was okay for you. So good, yeah, good. Thank good. You. good. Uh, Vidello, you may not have heard before. Uh, what, what country do you reckon the vines came from? From Vidello? Italy. Everyone says Italy. Well done for saying that, but no. <laughs> Portugal is the answer. So you would have won a dozen bottles of wine. <laughs> that, that, that would have been empty bottles. In that. Vidello, so Australia never had any great wines. The vines have to come from somewhere. So Vidello, if you go to Portugal, they're very popular. They came here in the 80s, and it's all about weather and soil. We can't grow Sauvignon Blanc or Pinot Noir because it's too hot. That's why New Zealand, Tasmania do as well. But Vidello, Semillon, Shiraz wants heat, and that's why we put it. So, give you Vidello, a little bit fruitier, it's quite nice. And it goes well with. The Labner, has anyone had Labner before? Is that person that will say yes? No. Yeah, I have. You have, that's right. For those people that have, do you know exactly what it is besides cheese? Um, I, I think it's strained yogurt. That's the magic word, thank you very much. Really? You get a bit I more. thought it's more sour. No, 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 you've done well. You want a bottle of wine? No, 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 hang on, you get a bit more in the glass. So look, in Lebanon they make yogurt, they strain the juice from the yogurt and make cheese. So it's ah. yogurt cheese, very tangy, marinated in very mild chilli and rosemary. And if you know of Dukkha, 
which is spicy grain. Yep. You roll it in that, so it's Middle East. Mm. So you see Ladna, just think yogurt the cheese there. Ladner. So if you can just only have that one there, it's on the left hand side. Just That's have that yeah. one cheese this with this wine. And left hand with the same, mm. this one. Mm. Yeah. It's just the cheese, which really has not much flavor at all. It's yeah. yogurt. Mm. But this is much more flavorful. Mm. Mm. What's this one called? I'm sorry? What's this called? I forget now. Um, yogurt cheese. Lebna. 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 Yeah, which means yogurt cheese. Mm. She's old. She knows stuff. <laughs> <laughs> She's wise. <laughs> Time! <laughs> Smell that. What Smell is that? It? It's, got, it's got a nose to it, I think. It might be a cheddar. Huh? Mm. It's like blue cheese. Blue cheese, sorry. Not blue, not blue cheese. But it's pretty pungent. Yeah. It's blue, huh? Yeah. Oh, no. Which is a muscatel grape with green. A very old English Australian drink. Like I say, this is what Australia was really drinking before Second World War. Fortified wine. England was drinking that, so we were drinking it. Uh, really nice with cheese, which is the cheddar cheese there, and very nice with a spoonful over vanilla ice cream. 18% alcohol. 18%? 18. 18, yeah. So active and busy. 18. Yeah. So see how you go. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah. That's why you save when you're young. Yeah, did you work uh, before? Oh, yeah. What did you do? Um, oh. All kinds of different things. Uh, I had a music store. Oh, nice. And we sold musical instruments to kids learning how to play band Thank you. and orchestra. Piano. You used to play the piano. Yep, I still do that. Do you, oh. do you teach? I did that. Thank you so much. I, um... Mango on the toaster? Yeah. Yes. Um, Cheers. Did you take honey one? 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 So which one is? I'll grab the vodka. Chow house, Jane. Chow house, yeah. And mystery Jane. Yep. Whatever it is. That is jail house. That's jail house. And which one is mystery? This second one is mystery. There. And this uh, vodka, also a honey vodka. Honey vodka, yeah. And lemon myrtle, myrtle coffee. Lemon myrtle and coffee. Yes. And the liqueur is um, um, mango and honey de miller. Uh, you've only got six. Do you want the mango or the honey dew melon? Uh, mango. Mango, yeah? Yes. There we go. Thank you. All right. uh, what's the concept behind the test tubes? Pardon? Why, why test tubes? Uh, I think it's just what we had at the time. I'm not actually sure. It does feel like a bit of a science experiment doing it. <laughs> this one is the cream. There's not a whole lot to it. Yeah. Yeah. 
ristorante che è nato l'anno scorso. No, 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 I can't take you, I can just drop you. Honeymoon? Honeymoon? Honey 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 I think that's funny. I don't know, this is yeah, coffee one. Yeah, coffee one has to be yes. special. Yeah. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Sorry, Thank I missed you. your hi.